if you have been watching the market since uh, this week, the week that uh, we had the USA election, you have noticed that the market was a bit uh, ranging. And since yesterday, the market has become volatile. And today, waking up today, the 6th of November, 2024, I feel it is because of Trump winning. And when he was announced, uh, when people knew that he has won, of course, the market has been very, very volatile. So I don't want to ignore that. Uh, I know everyone is asking themselves, why is the market doing this? This is my point of view. And I have decided to do this video because everyone is talking about election, Trump winning. What is it for the market? So I want to do this video to give my thoughts, my opinion, and even to encourage someone who maybe they have lost money in this process because these markets are very, very volatile. Anything that has a USD, either as a quote or a pound. So what are either quote as a base? So you might be trading, for instance, you might be trading GBP, GBP USD, you are affected all, or if you are trading USD JPY, you are still affected because uh, it's either you're trading uh, USD here, we are trading it as the base. So here USD, you're trading it as the base. And the USD here, you're trading it as the quote. Remember what happens uh, when I kept, uh, I have done this uh, on my YouTube channel. I think in a video, I have done this and have said, when USD, when a quote, when a quote becomes strong, the market sells. If a quote is strong, let me write here. If a quote is strong, what happens? The market sells. If the quote is, if the base is strong, the market, the market does what? The market buys. So for quote being strong, the market, um, for quote being strong, the market sell, and then the vice versa. If the base is strong, the market will buy. Now, what are we seeing with all the USD pairs? Either they are the base or the quote. So, uh, we for me, my my. My prediction about the U.S. election, and I had, and, and I was keep, I was telling anyone who was close to me, I was saying even to my friends, I didn't have enough courage to do a video and to give my, my like to give my opinion in a video. But I used, I kept saying, if Trump wins, USD will gain power. If Trump wins, USD will gain power. So for me, I knew if he wins, everything will go crazy. So. For, for the USD pairs, the ones that have the quote starting with the gold, starting with the gold, the ones that have the quote starting with the gold, uh, you see gold gold has the USD as the quote, so they are selling. So A, A, X, A, U, U, S, D. So of course it has the quote, GBP USD has the quote, Euro USD, USD has the quote, Audi USD, and the DSD, which one do you think has the quote? As long as it has the quote as the USD, these pairs are selling. So let's come here and see what is happening. So the market was ranging. This was yesterday. Trump was not yet declared a winner and everyone was voting. This was yesterday. And let me tell you, the market, the gold did not do much yesterday. It ranged, it's like moved with 100 pips, like. 149 pips. And I was just saying, they're just waiting to, everyone, every investor, everyone is waiting to hear, um, uh, to know who, who has won, of course, for them to either do the, do the their, their trades or do the investment, whatever. Because remember, the Forex market is not only moved by the retailers. It is always also moved by the, by the, by the investors. So if I go to one hour time frame, uh, this was midnight. So when we woke up today, and you can see, I think the results came at 3 a.m. Kenyan time, and immediately the results came, you can see there was this uh, momentum seen here. And now people, there were. it was not clear, uh, it was not yet announced, but of course he was leading with no tease that uh, Trump will win, Trump will win. And that's why we saw a, a drop of 100 pips, and this is one hour. And then after that, the markets um, uh, went back because it was like 
the market is going up, it's going down. So nobody knows if he will he win, will he not win? And then the market went with 171 pips above. So this was around four today. This was around four. But um, the market, you can see, this is now the tension in the market. And if you are trading gold, for me, I would say, for the scalpers, they have really made their money. So at the end of the day, we can see that um, they, they, they were just waiting for the London session to open for, because the market was moving and we, did, we were not mm -hmm. on London session, we were not on New York session. The market was closed for USD and still it was having volatility. Unlike other sessions, where the market is ranging. So when when we knew that Trump had won, we we saw this big spike. And you can see this candle from 2738 all the way down to, to 2701, it's 370 pips. This is a one hour. This is one hour, one hour. And 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 the market would move up and down, move up and down. But at, at where we are standing, the market is still selling and it has sold since the results were announced. Uh they announced the results were announced and the market has dropped with 600 pips. 600 pips guys. And um it has gone the same way to the rest of every USD as they could. You can see this was the Euro USD. Immediately, uh, people knew Trump is the winner and already investors were uh, betting on him to win. If, of course, the USD got power. If USD dropped with 253 pips, like if you check the candle on Euro USD on the daily, it was so massive. Guys, this was a very massive candle. Like, oh my goodness, like uh, this is massive. Like it is telling you, we are coming to take everyone out if I at all you are buying. And then for out USD, you can see, so any pair with the USD as the quote, uh, it, it is selling. Any USD pair as the, as the base, it is buying. So you can see the market is a strong buy. It has been buying since 1 a.m. And the market started to buy today because today is when everyone now knew Trump has won. So this is the results of the market uh, buying. So maybe you are not, you're wondering what is happening. Why is the market, why is uh, market gaining strength? Is because Trump has won. And of course, Trump has really promised the investors so many things. So people are feeling more confident to invest in the dollar. So the dollar is gaining more power against any currency that you will pay with it. And I think we need now to do more analysis on what happens after Trump. How will we trade? Will the USD gain more power? Because this is USD JPY and USD CHF. Any pair with USD, let me tell you, it has really gone up. So how do we trade after here? How do we trade after here? So I want us to go to Euro USD. This is the Euro USD. And I want us to go to the weekly time frame. So from the weekly time frame. For me, I still feel that that is just a reaction of any market. If a new president gets in, there is the way the market will react. Um, okay, I may not say that we may have a, a market still going down. There are so many factors to make USD still gain more power. Because remember, the currency is stabilizing and, and people have already, the investors have already made a lot of money. So we will see what we'll see after today we'll see many people closing in positions. Those who have made big money, they will first close in their position. So this sell can either be two things. It can either be a manipulative sell to make you place your own sell and then you are eaten alive. So what I can tell you, for me, I feel that USD for now, the whole of this month, it is not something just to play with and you just come in and place your treats. Because if I look at uh if I look at Euro USD on the weekly time frame, we are still on the ranging and we are on the side of the ranging. And this is this is a pattern we call um we on this side of ranging. So the market was coming up and then it entered on this ranging. So I'm still feeling like uh if the if the 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 USD becomes more powerful as long as we have not seen it breaking this range i may not talk about it because these are the these are just um the positions the the i, I don't know what i call it it's just that the reaction of something so you might see the market reacting like this and then after after the before the end of the month you see euro usd has broken up and then you're wondering what happened to 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 what happened to the us us remember us before it stabilized now there's a new government before it stabilized before they 
of course Trump will come with his own rules, will come with uh, his own agendas, a lot will have to change. So for me, I feel before all that changes so that the USD becomes powerful and becomes stable, for me, I still feel it's too early to say that USD has gained power over other currency and start looking for sale. For me, I would, I would look for major sell zone, major buy zones, or major support area or major uh, resistance area, then I mark those. So for me, for Euro USD, I have marked this channel. So for me to believe that, oh, Euro USD is a strong sale according to what we are being um, told or being shown, for me, they just, they have to break that zone. For Audi USD, this is how Audi USD is looking like. You can see Audi USD has been ranging for a very long time. So Audi USD, I may not say, oh, now we, we are on a downtrend. So this is Audi USD and it has been ranging uh, for a very long time. You can see it is on this range. So as long as we are still on this range on Audi USD, be on this range. How will I even come here and tell you guys that now USD has power? And I'm talking of weekly time frame because weekly time frame you can see a lot of data. And that's why I don't want people to start making mistakes and siding. Don't make mistake and start over risking and supporting all USD because Trump has got in. Now I will I will make a lot of money. If at all Euro out USD has not broken this major uh, major uh, ranging channel, for me I don't feel like uh, we need to just be be biased on one side. For me I feel it's too early to be biased saying that you, uh, USD is powerful because Trump has won. He still have a lot to do. He still have a lot to prove. He still have a lot to put in order. So at, at the end of the day, as he's planning his government, as he's planning to put everything in order, let me tell you, it may take time and the market, by the time it is trying to stabilize, this is what is happening. So for Audi USD, we are still on a ranging and we cannot tell. I cannot just come, you cannot just open four hour and say, oh, because you're seeing the market has gone uh, has gone down. Even on four hour, it can tell you that um, the, this support, even uh, just a normal support on four hour, even those news were not able to break. And these are uh, the first indication, but it is breaking every high creating high highs and high lows, but it's not able to break this support. So that is a fast red flag that these news are just bringing either tension of people just to have tension and to see, oh, the market is selling and they start selling and then the market reverses on you. Now, let, that one is for Audi USD. So if you wanted to know, by the way, how do I trade Audi USD? My, my thing is, look at this major this is the major box on weekly this is what will tell us that eventually who is controlled but as the moment look at four hour and any you see this uh on four hour i want you to i want you to go and mark out this support on four hour and watch out because remember guys here we have a breaking here we have a breaking so this chart already we have a high we have a high here so what if, if they fail to break this low, this is an indication that the market can come. So we will be observing how the market will come at this area. So how do USD be observing how the market will come here? So let's go to GBPUSD and I will go directly to weekly. If you go to weekly GBPUSD, surely this market is a strong buy. So don't be fooled by election and say, oh, now I will start selling. This market is still a strong buy. So even if you are trying, if I, even if I put a, a trend line like this, if I put a trend line like this, you can see the market is playing around that trend line. So it's still too early to say, oh, I want to sell because of election. Uh, now USD has power. If you can see, uh, we have, uh, we you can see uh, we had, this was the high and then we got a higher high. So the market even broke this high. So, and the support, has not able to be broken. So sellers are still weak in this market. So for me, if I want to trade uh, GBP USD according to the news, how they are trying to tell us, they need to prove to me and they need to break. You see this support on weekly. If they can be able to break this support on weekly, we may be able to say uh, it's like the market is reversing. But for me, would, GBP USD is still a strong, strong buy. So even if these news are coming, again, why on four hour, and this is what I'm saying, why on four hour has this market stopped here? Why has it stopped here first and second? And you can see here, the market had a high high. So if they start breaking, let's say they break and then they come and retest, 
like that. So I can be looking for sale. But right now, I'm not looking for sale on GBPUSD. When we go to NZDUSD, NZDUSD has been on a, let's see, has been on a ranging channel for a very long time. So why would I say this market is a sell yet is on this channel? So for me, NZDSD is on a channel and I would want to see either direction, either breaking above or breaking below. That is NZDUSD. And then for USD CHF, remember CHF is, uh, USD is the base. So for USD CHF, how would I say now USD CHF has gained power and this market is on a downtrend? So for me, I, I still feel like um I still feel like this market maybe it's coming here just to retest. You can see we had a break, we had a break here. Maybe it is just coming to retest and then it goes down. So for me, uh, for me, I'm not supporting, I'm not supporting oh, we are now in an actual uh a downtrend on 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 USD pairs. I'm still hoping. If you check on gold, this is gold for you. Gold has been on an uptrend. If we check on the weekly, it has been on an uptrend. So for them to just uh, change direction, it will take much more than just news. So gold, it's on an uptrend. Maybe it is just retesting this area, and then once it retests this area, it just gives us a big shock and buys. So at the end of the day, this downside movement. May, may it not make you just for 600 piece makes you uh, forget everything and forget the trend and think, oh, gold now is selling. Let me tell you, for gold to sell, we have, it has to break this support. If gold break this support, now you can start looking for sale. If gold break 2,600, that is 800 pips away. If it breaks 26, uh, 2,600, now I can say for sure, Gold wants to sell, but right now gold is intact to buy. That those are my thoughts on what next after Trump wins, and maybe maybe try to trade um in a way that uh we are not a uh, biased. Don't be biased because the minute you're biased, you will not see so many things. You won't see so many things. So we want to see we want to see this drop, and then we want to observe how buyers will come in. So this market has broken this is gold so this market has broken here so we want to observe how will the buyers come in so they are making the buyers are making um low lows and low highs so they are making low highs huh? so the buyers are making low highs so we want to observe after the news after the event after the trump winning how are buyers coming in so if you want to trade gold your work is to observe the buyers Wait until buyer starts to come in and see and vet by yourself how are buyers coming in? Are they strong? Is it a small candle? Because buyers can come in and they forget even this market was a sell. So that is what I can tell you. Even, even, in, even on EURUSD, we want to see how buyers are coming in. And that's why you're seeing on AUDUSD, we have already, we can see we, we have a zone here. Let's just observe. Will they break here? And in the, the next, you can see buyers are starting to, to lose uh, the momentum. So here, these buyers are higher than this one. So they have created a low high. So at the end of the day, so they are creating low high, low high, and the same low. So at the end of the day, let's observe how buyers are coming in versus, uh, versus how sellers, will they eventually break? that support. So for me, that's what I can tell you. There's nothing much to, to teach today because even if I teach a new concept, everyone is uh, glued to the news. That's why I say it. Let me take this opportunity to tell you what is happening in my mind and what to do and what to hope for. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Trade safely. Make sure you don't risk too much because news are volatile. Uh, the market is volatile. Uh, the whole of this November, the market will be volatile. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.